Today, we're checking out the iRobot Roomba 205, the model I was most excited about earlier this year when iRobot released their new lineup. This Roomba caught my eye because it feels like it carries a bit of Roomba's classic innovation, especially its dust compression bin compared to the other new models. It also has front-facing LiDAR, which is a unique feature that really piqued my interest. We'll be comparing it against the 130 plus robot vacuums we've reviewed here on the channel. Big thanks to iRobot for sending it over, but just to be clear, this video isn't sponsored. As always, you'll get our honest, unfiltered take, letting the data speak for itself. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. Let's jump into the unboxing. Inside the box, you'll find the robot vacuum, a charging station with power cord, an extra filter, and the usual product literature. Setup is quick and straightforward. Plug in the dock and let the unit charge. Once that's done, connect it to the iRobot Home app, available on both iOS and Android devices, and you're ready to go. Now, a quick heads up for those familiar with iRobot's older models like the 600i or J series. There's a new app. The original app you're used to is now called Home App Classic. Your account info transfers over and you can still see all of your legacy devices, but here's the catch. You'll need to use the Classic app to control those older models while the new app handles the newer devices. It's an awkward split. And look, I'm not an app developer, but I have to be honest, the new app isn't intuitive. It doesn't fix the issues from the old version and in some ways it's actually harder to use. I really don't like it and for me, it's a major drawback. If you rely heavily on the app for managing a robot, this might be a deal breaker. On the other hand, if you're someone who just sets a cleaning schedule and rarely opens the app again, you could probably get by without too much frustration. Right out of the box, the Roomba 205 required a firmware update, but surprisingly, it was quick. That was a relief after past trauma setting up the Roomba 104 and 105 and 405 models, which could take nearly an hour. While we've tested most of the new Roombas, it's still exciting to finally see a LiDAR module on one, even if it's years overdue. On the plus side, mapping speed has improved significantly. Initial mapping is now much faster and more in line with the competition. If you've used one of iRobot's older non-LiDAR models, you'll know how painfully slow those could be. This is a welcomed upgrade. As for cleaning performance, the 205 delivered as expected. In our high traffic pet filled home, it handled hair, crumbs, and fine dust with ease. We did encounter some hair tangles on the brush roller. Not surprising given it lacks a conical roller or active detangling system. We're seeing those superior brush systems trickle down to vacuums in this range, so we hope iRobot takes note and includes them by default in future models, especially since iRobot is behind the competition in several key areas, and this would be a simple but effective way to differentiate their products. It's refreshing to finally see iRobot publish suction numbers. The Roomba 205 delivers 7,000 pascals of suction, the same as the 104 and 105 models. That's below our overall average, but keep in mind that number includes flagship models pushing past 20,000 pascals. For an entry-level robot vacuum, 7,000 pascals is respectable. Noise levels come in about four decibels below average. On paper, that matters to audio purists, but in real-world use, the difference is barely noticeable. During our airflow test on carpet, the 205 measured 290 FPM, well below the category average of 420 FPM, and lower than the 104, 105, and 405 for those that are keeping score. In-use pressure peaked at 0.24 kPa, also below average, which led us to expect mediocre deep clean results. Instead, the 205 scored a 90 out of 100, actually beating our overall average of 88. So while the numbers don't jump off the page, the real world cleaning performance was better than expected, largely thanks to its brush roller design. One standout feature is the 205's dust compression system, which replaces a traditional self-emptying dock. This makes the charging base much smaller, ideal if you're short on space. When we filled the dust bin to capacity with hair and debris, it compressed everything down to about half the volume. The trade-off is a faint rattle during use, likely due to the dustbin design, but the benefit of avoiding disposable vacuum bags makes it a solid quality of life perk at this price that also saves you money. The iRobot Home app available on both iOS and Android devices offers standard controls like adjustable suction, smart mapping, and room or zone specific cleaning. It supports multi-floor mapping, no-go zones, and voice control through Amazon or Google Voice Assistants. Feature-wise, it checks all the right boxes for an entry-level robot, but the experience falls short. The interface feels clunky and unintuitive. Navigating it is more frustrating than it should be. Personally, it's a deal breaker. A streamlined, modern UI would go a long way towards improving the overall experience. As it stands, the app is one of the 205's weakest points. Reddit users see the Roomba 205 as a solid mid-range update that finally brings LiDAR mapping and a dust compression bin to a more affordable Roomba. Many appreciate its compact design and strong cleaning for smaller homes, calling it reliable for basic maintenance. However, users frequently mention that the app feels outdated and that map editing is clumsy. 
with the robot sometimes misidentifying furniture, skirts, or curtains as obstacles. The dust compactor earns praise for reducing emptying frequency, but is criticized for being messier than expected in high, hairy households. Overall, Reddit sentiment suggests the 205 is a good fit for apartments or simple floor plans, but still lags behind competitors like Roborock and Dreamy in software polish and advanced navigation. The Roomba 205 currently holds a 3.8 out of 5 star rating. Users generally find it easy to set up and praise its cleaning performance across different floor types. However, feedback is mixed on its edge cleaning and battery life. Opinions on value also vary. Some see it as a great entry-level buy, while others feel it's overpriced. Noise levels receive similarly mixed reactions. Some users find it impressively quiet, while others report it can get loud mid-clean. As with all models we test, there's room for refinement. The biggest issue for me is still the app. It's buggy, slow, and unintuitive, which detracts from an otherwise capable robot. Improving the user interface would dramatically improve the ownership experience. While I appreciate the built-in dust compactor, it's not a top priority feature compared to things like an extended side brush, basic mopping capability, or obstacle avoidance. Given that iRobot is still behind in several of these areas, adding those would make a much bigger impact on day-to-day -day usability. Overall, the Roomba 205 feels like a step in the right direction for iRobot, even if it's not a revolutionary one. It's great to finally see features like LiDAR mapping and dust compression systems make their way into a more affordable Roomba. In real-world cleaning, it performs better than its specs might suggest, and the smaller charging base is a practical bonus for tighter spaces like apartments or condos. That said, iRobot still has some serious catching up to do. The app remains one of its weakest points, and the absence of features like optical avoidance or a conical brush keep it from competing directly with similarly priced models from Roborock, Ecovacs, and Dreamy. Interestingly, the Roomba 205 shares a lot of DNA with the 3i G10 Plus, which offers several features we'd love to see here, like an extended side brush, built-in mopping system, and detangling comb, all at a similar price point. From what we understand, 3i is one of iRobot's manufacturing partners behind these next-generation Roombas. So if you're considering the Roomba 205 but want the best performance per dollar, the 3i G10 Plus might be worth looking at first.